Hey there, and welcome to Guild Wars 2 Weekly, your weekly source of Guild Wars 2 news and info. I'm your host, Zol Fury, and in the headlines for the past week. This new epic cinematic of the Asura capital city of Ratasun. This was a really cool in-depth look at their capital city, which is truly a marvel. Also, this new video of the adventures of ArenaNet's sound team. This one was really cool, and it gives you a look into the complexity of sound design for a video game. It's definitely worth watching both of them, so link in the description below. Unfortunately, that's all for the news this week, so let's just move right into our lore feature. We have been going through a series on Destiny's Edge, going through each of the members, starting with Ritlock Brimstone last week. There will be an annotation on your screen, click that if you'd like to go watch that one. But this week is about Logan Thackeray, and before I go any further, I must stress one thing. The rest of this video contains spoilers from the book Edge of Destiny. If you have not read or have not finished the book, please turn away from the video right now. I'm warning you. Once more, this contains spoilers, so if you have not finished the book Edge of Destiny, don't watch the rest of this video. Don't say you haven't been warned. So that aside, let's get into this. Originally a scout for hire, Logan Thackeray is now one of the most well-known humans in all of Tyria. Logan spent most of his youth working as a hired blade for trading caravans near the fortress of Ebonhawk. He met up with Ritlock Brimstone and Kaith after a fight with ogres, and joined them to form the group Edge of Steel. This trio then traveled to Lion's Arch and fought many other teams in the Lion's Arch arena. Queen Jenna, the leader of the humans, saw the skill and cunning of Logan in the arena, and Logan, enthralled by her beauty, pledged to serve her as her champion, allowing himself to be called to her side if ever she was in danger. Certainly not the wisest decision, and it would eventually come back to haunt him. One day, Air, the mighty Norn of the group Dragonspawn's Destiny, made a bet with the owner of the arena that Dragonspawn's Destiny could best Edge of Steel. And they did. Seeing their strength, the Edge of Steel joined with Dragonspawn's Destiny, forming the guild Destiny's Edge. This guild fought many a powerful dragon champion, defeating them all, becoming legendary in the process. Eventually, they tried a bigger prey, Kral Katorik. Logan was a very skilled guardian, and a tremendous asset to the team. So when Queen Jenna summoned him to defend her just before the fight with the Elder Dragon, the rest of Destiny's Edge felt abandoned and betrayed. Though it was not directly Logan's fault, one of the members of Destiny's Edge died in the unsuccessful fight with the Elder Dragon and the rest blamed Logan for it. Logan easily fought off the ogre revolt that was threatening the queen's life, and she appointed him captain of the Seraph Guard in Divinity's Reach, where he remains. That's all for the day. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to tune in next Monday, where we will take a look at the Silvari Kaith. But until then... I'm Zolfiri, and I'll see you guys then.